Sugar or no sugar? Understanding everyday English phrases. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring a phrase you might encounter in daily English conversations, especially in contexts involving food or drinks. We're talking about the question, sugar or no sugar? Understanding these simple yet essential phrases can significantly enhance your English communication skills, especially in casual settings. So, let's get started. When someone asks you, sugar or no sugar, they're inquiring about your preference regarding the addition of sugar to a beverage or food item you're about to consume. This question is most commonly associated with drinks, such as tea or coffee, where sugar is optional based on personal taste. The underlying question is whether you like your drink sweetened or unsweetened. Responding to this question is quite straightforward. If you prefer sweetness, you would say, sugar, indicating you want sugar added. If you do not, you would say, no sugar, indicating you prefer it without any added sweetness. While, sugar or no sugar, is a straightforward question, it's worth noting that there are variations in how people might ask about your sugar preference. Here are a few examples. Would you like sugar in your tea? Do you take sugar? Any sugar? These variations all serve the same purpose, to determine how you prefer your drink or, less commonly, your food. The way you respond can also vary slightly, but a simple, yes, please, for sugar, or no, thanks, for no sugar will always be understood. Understanding the cultural context of this question can also enhance your communication skills. In many cultures, offering tea or coffee to guests is a sign of hospitality, and asking about sugar preferences is a part of this ritual. Being able to confidently answer this question not only shows your language proficiency but also your awareness of social customs. Additionally, in some English-speaking countries, the prevalence of health-conscious diets has made it more common for people to decline sugar. This social trend might influence how often you hear the question or how you might expect to answer it based on social settings or the company you're in. We hope this video has shed light on the simple yet essential phrase, sugar or no sugar, and its variations. Understanding such phrases can significantly improve your ability to navigate everyday English conversations, making your language learning journey both more effective and enjoyable. Remember, language learning is all about the details, and mastering these can make a big difference in your fluency and confidence. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.